Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do the June monthly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Just keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Sagittarius. Okay, so let's jump into this reading and see what energies are coming forward for you guys for the month of June. Ooh, okay. So at the heart of the reading, we have you not wanting to reconcile with someone. Because you're finally healing yourself when it comes to a heartbreak that happened. Um, for some of you, you know you have all the tools and what it takes to manifest the life that you want. And a reconciliation at this time is not something that, you're, that you want or that you are trying to manifest. Probably because this person left you out in the cold, ghosted you, abandoned you. And... I don't think for most of you, you have healed enough to take this person back just yet. You're finally coming out of the energy and finally accepting that this relationship is over. And you're trying to move on. Oh my. But this person is ready to <laughs> come back in. Offer an apology. And offer a commitment now. Oof, yeah. So you're about to get clarity as to exactly what happened in this situation. Mm. And now that you have finally decided to let go of this connection and move towards something else for yourself and improve yourself, this person is coming back in to tell you that they love you. That they see you as their two of cups. And they want a commitment with you. Yeah. They no longer want to hold back from you. Ouch. For some of you, this is going to cause a tower moment where you are like shocked out of your mind. This is something that is definitely going to take you by surprise. Because this person... For you in the present, you don't see a reconciliation right but for this person they see a commitment with you now because in the past you wanted this person to communicate to you they didn't you wanted a commitment with them they didn't now they're coming back in opening up communication with you stop holding back from you and to tell you that they love you <laughs> that would cause a tower moment for me, definitely. Because you're finally moving on. You're finally ready to accept that the relationship has ended and you're finally building yourself and building your environment and finally letting go of the relationship and then have this person come back into you to tell you they love you. Yeah, that would cause a tower moment for me too, Sergi. Oof, that would be some serious, serious, serious shit. Yeah. Okay, so somebody had anxiety about the whole relationship and a lot of regret. I don't feel it's you, Sagittarius. I feel it's your person. Yeah, because they now realize that you are their ultimate fulfillment they see they are very happy with you for some of them it took them you walking away from them to realize that they aren't happy without you what is this ten of swords in the reverse for the sign of sagittarius okay so mm -hmm. when they broke your heart that gave you your tower moment because it shattered everything you knew and you understood. And it hurt. 
it gave you time to look at things from a different perspective because you really did love them. You saw them as your soulmates. You saw them as your only choice in love for some of you. And you wanted to reconcile with them. You wanted to fix this relationship, work on this relationship, reconcile with them. But they were like, no, no, I can't do that at this time. We're done and we're done. So you decided to manifest your best life. You decided to start a work on yourself because you have everything that you need to make your life the way you want it to be. So now they see you looking all gorgeous and handsome and shit. And they are coming back with an offer. Now they are still going to try to hide their feelings for you. There is still things that you are not going to be seeing in this connection. But your luck is about to change. Things are about to spin in your favor. <laughs> after some time apart, after some soul searching, this person sees you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as a nurturing person, a kind person, someone that can provide for themselves and probably has done so. Um, someone that is sitting pretty. That is how they see you. And now they are ready to come in to offer you a stable connection, to offer you stability. For some of you, this may be an engagement to offer you marriage. But they finally see long-term commitment with you. After abandoning you, you're finally accepting that, you know what? This person ghosted me. This person left me. We had a quarrel. They chose that as the opportunity to leave. You felt like your hands were tied because you were trying to communicate to this person that, yes, we can save this relationship. Yes, we can work on this relationship. Yes, I'm willing to put in the work, but they weren't willing to do it at that point in time. They may have just brushed you off and decided that you know what I'm going back to something from my past for some of you this could have been somebody going back to their marriage but for some reason in the recent past they had a change of perspective they took some time out they decided to weigh their options after working on this marriage that apparently wasn't working out they decided to concentrate on ending this relationship now. Or oh, after they worked on the relationship, there was a rebirth or a regeneration of that specific relationship. And their money seems to be a little bit better. Their home life seems to be more stable. So they are deciding now to come back towards you. Quickly, I might add. Rushing into you moving in your direction, you understand? Very quickly to offer you love. Could be a Capricorn, someone you are, are dealing with, or a Cancer. But know that this may be just out of wanting to keep you where they want you. Because they do love you, there is no dispute in that. But, do they love you enough to not want to upset your life because they are in this love could be a toxic one where this person just wants you for wanting you sake and they keep stabbing you in the back over and over and over again but they're ready to communicate with you but I don't think they're ready to offer you anything stable and committed in the sense of a new beginning. But they want to continue the relationship like nothing happened. And I think for some of you, you all are going to keep walking. Or they are going to try to explain why they walked away from you to begin with. To try to look for stability and get a new beginning. 
But something is about to be illuminated in this connection. It's either, yeah, the universe is definitely going to bring something forward for you. Because this person wants a new passionate beginning with you. And they definitely want a relationship with you. They want to commit to you now. They're not trying to be a Romeo again. They're not trying to be a player. They're not trying to use your emotions for them against you. They are ready to take their time because their tower moment <laughs> probably has arrived now because when you try to reconcile the situation, they didn't want to do it. Now they want to come back in and they want to move slowly and they want to try to offer you stability and... Mm-hmm. And they're watching you and spying on you and trying to be an FBI agent now to see if you finally moved on with someone. But I haven't seen any cards to indicate that you are with anyone else. But what, I, what they are seeing is that you look great and you've moved on and loved yourself and taken care of yourself and probably built up your own ten of pentacles. Now they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to sneak back in and pretend they're working on the relationship. Some of you, you're going to give this person a second chance, but others of you, you're so gone, it's ridiculous. There is no coming back. Yeah. They see you as the Six of Wands. They see you as someone being out there. Celebrating your own life. Celebrating your own achievements. Looking really good right now. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You can take them back or not. It's your free will. But at the end of the day, when you tried to work on this relationship, they didn't want to work on it. So it's your call now. All right? Have a good one. This is what I have for you for the month of June. It looks to be an exciting month of June, Sagittarius, I must say. So let me know in the comments below what is happening. All right? Have a good one.